Hey guys, um, we're in the middle of a very hot weekend again, aren't we? Uh, so we thought today we'd do another iced recipe um, using the virtual machine and also today the barista recipe maker. This can be done with the Aeroccino if you use the cold froth setting. If you don't know how to do that, you could check out our 10 um, Nespresso tips, um, sorry, 10 Aeroccino 3 tip video. But what we thought we'd do is we'd make an iced cappuccino. Um, we've got the Nespresso ice cube trays here. We've got nine ice cubes in there. I'm going to fill it up as much as I can with ice because the more ice that's in there, the quicker it's going to get nice and cold. So capsule wise, I've selected the Bianco Doppio um, double espresso pod. Uh, that one's not quite as bitter as some because I think with iced coffees, what puts a lot of people off making them is one, they think they're going to be difficult and two, they think they're going to be probably too bitter. Um, so we've gone for a pod that's a little bit milder. If you look on top, it's designed to be used with milk. Um, so it's, it, But there's also like the Scuro pod, but that has more bitterness to it. So I've gone for one that's a little bit milder this time. Um, we're going to use the iced frappe setting, um, but obviously we're just going to put 175 millilitres. Uh, that's what I've chosen anyway, of cold semi-skim milk in there. Um, but you can adjust those amounts depending on the size of your glass. Um, but we're going to put it on the cold frappe setting and just let it whip the milk up cold. Um, so we'll get it. And we've also, by the way, got some vanilla syrup as well that we're going to add on top of the ice cubes um, just to take away again that bit of a bitter edge that um, iced coffees can sometimes have. So we'll get, like I say, as much ice in here as we can. I'm using the morning vanilla syrup. These came as a pack, an espresso release, like a little miniature pack. They do that sometimes in, in summer. I'm not sure if they've done it this year, actually, but I'll check. I'm going to be quite liberal with that because sometimes I can... I find I don't put quite enough in and then I don't taste it. It doesn't take, it takes the edge off it though when you put enough in. So I've got plenty of, um, probably, what have I got in there? About 15 mil probably of vanilla syrup. So we'll have to be quick with this because our ice cubes are already starting to melt, but I did manage to fit one extra one in the top because they're starting to melt. So we'll press the ice frappe button. We have a look on top. It starts off slow and then it really starts to whip up. So our milk is finished then. So we'll get that poured in. As we can see, it's created a nice froth. Um, but we've got a little metal straw here. I'm going to suggest we just give it a little stir just to mix that syrup in a little bit, uh, to mix the milk and the espresso together a little bit for our iced cappuccino. Please do let us know in the comments what you like to do. What variations would you do with this drink? How do you make it? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching. Do subscribe and bye for now.